Mr. Raj Pradhan, who is a columnist at Money Life. Mr. Pradhan has done his BE Computers from the Bombay University and MBA in Finance from Cleveland State University in the United States of America. He has worked as an information technology and business consultant in India and the USA for over 15 years, including five years in the health insurance sector. He is working with Money Life since June 2010 and writes mainly on insurance. Fixed income options, uh, that's the first slide. And uh, bank company FD, that's uh, we discussed in detail just now. It's very safe and your uh, principal is protected. Everything is great with scheduled commercial banks and no doubt about that. Company FD, uh, insecure, uh, very risky. Uh, maybe a couple of companies I have examples. We can you know think of that. But other than that, I mean, look at the uh, you know credit rating. But not all company FDs have a credit rating. So again, that's a problem there. We don't know the rating for each company. RBI Infix and Index Bond. We just said uh, great option uh, for those in. Uh, no tax bracket or up to 10% tax bracket, a wonderful option. Those who are looking for bank FD, I strongly recommend uh, this option if there is no need for a regular income. I, I'm, I'm specifically saying with respect to retirement savings, this is a great option. Those who are uh, you know, in age bracket up to age 50 uh, and don't want to touch it for next 10 years, wonderful. I mean, you can uh, put it like a save retirement savings and at the age of 60, you can get you know a good return. Corporate bond NCD, uh, again, uh, better than company FD, I would say. Uh, there is ratings, it, has, it is secured. Uh, you can uh, you know look at it in both primary market and secondary market. Uh, you know exactly what is the coupon rate. Uh, it's guaranteed. So uh, if you match your you know maturity date. Your, uh, you know, maturity date is one year and you buy a bond of five years, it may be a mismatch because after one year, the bond value can go up or down. So you might be lucky to make a capital gain or you might be unlucky to make a capital loss if you want to sell after one year. So if you are able to match your maturity date with what is offered in the market, uh, then it's as good as a fixed deposit because uh, you are guaranteed a coupon and your principal is going to be returned at the end of the term. Tax-free bond, uh, highly recommended. Uh, uh, um, I am myself invested, so uh, uh, it's definitely something for those in 20%, 30% tax bracket. A no-brainer. Look for AAA rated companies. Don't go for AA plus, AA minus. When there is, you know, AAA rated companies out there giving, you know, almost the same rate, maybe 0.25 percent, you might get more for AA plus or AA minus, but not worth it. So. AAA companies, most of them were AAA last year and this year. A uh, couple of them were AA minus, NR Port, uh, Dredging Corporation. Uh, one of them AA plus, uh, Hudco. But either, other than these three, four, um, all of them were AAA. So, uh, you know, pick and choose and uh, they're still there. You know, NHI is just opened. I think it may be oversubscribed by now, but we'll have some more opportunities. Government securities, I think, very exciting. Uh, it's very safe, much more, I mean, it's as good as much more than a bank, I would say. I mean, you, I mean, bank is also scheduled commercial bank. You can never lose, but government security is, you know, as good as you know anything because it's, uh, unless the government collapses, nothing is going to happen to your government security. So uh, it's a little tedious to buy, but uh, you can buy it. Uh, it's there available up to 30 years of term. So you can buy a government security maturing 30 years from now. So at a, at a fixed rate, fixed coupon rate. A uh, fixed maturity plan, uh, again, coming from mutual fund company, uh, this, is, this is the only one product we are looking at in this presentation because, you know, we mentioned bond funds uh, can, you know, lose value. Uh, so you don't want to look at something which you don't know when you are getting in and what portfolio the companies, uh, mutual fund companies already holding and, you know, there could be a lot of things which can affect the NAV value. You know, RBI comes out with some liquidity crunch, you know, the notice and then all of a sudden, uh, July of last year we saw uh, bond funds uh, in one day going down two and a half percent just because of RBI squeeze and uh, there's something called mark to market where Amphi told all the mutual fund companies to reevaluate their portfolio with respect to the current market rate which 
can bring down the valuation because the interest rate you know in the market goes uh, differs so they have to reevaluate periodically but fmp we are uh, discussing because it's a close ended fund uh, <coughs> uh it's uh, they take the money from you and whatever is the different rates for different instruments they lock in for that particular period and there's no buying selling from them there's no active you know uh, fund management is the fund management at the beginning when they decide which funds to invest which companies or bonds or which what to buy and that's it that's the end of it if the period is 13 months you wait for 13 months and uh, whatever is the interest rate they uh, you know got out of the investment minus their expenses uh, you will get annuity it's from love insurance company we are not taking questions right now uh, in insurance company uh, the reason why i'm having it here is that uh, uh, it's a option i mean i'm not saying it's the best option but uh, there are annuity products available even for those who are starting at age 21 and above you know so somebody wanting to get a lifelong annuity at age you know 21 can you know lock in you know if your life expectancy is 80 from 20 to age 80 60 years you are actually guaranteed a specific return so none of the products here will go that far you know 60 years for a lock in at 7% uh, tax rebounds 20 years you know gsec 30 years uh, annuity you know again depending on when you buy it if you are young enough and you buy it uh, it's lifelong uh, interest rate which you are going to get so it's a option i mean uh, but the only bad point is the uh, corpus is locked in a way uh, it's not flexible enough to give you back your principal until your death you know so that's a little bit of a bad part <coughs> uh, this is a different uh, parameters we are looked at for the different options uh, bank fd again the safety is very high is the highest i would say ease of investment high or are the highest because it's like you just go to the bank uh, fill up a or even online you can do it today uh returns are high uh, 9% today 9 and 9 and quarter 9.25 uh, returns after tax is the only bad point uh, it's medium because the highest tax bracket you're going to lose straight away 9% will go down to only 6% 6 and quarter maturity again it's 7 days to 10 years so uh, even i think sbi right now is offering 7 and 1/2% for 7 day fd which is not bad because instead of putting in a savings account for a long period if you're not really going to need that for 7 days why not put a put in a 7 day you know sbi fd get a 7 and 1/2% instead of 4% in the savings account you know so uh, even the best savings account today yes bank will only give uh, 6% up to 1 lakh you know amount i mean the 7% after one lakh amount but uh, 7 and 1/2% 7 day fd is not bad a liquidity very very nice uh, you can always go back and uh, you know break the fd whenever you want and that's the end of it uh, interest payment you have options of monthly quarterly semi annual annual uh, it's mainly for those in up to 10% tax bracket uh, senior citizens uh, fmp uh, fd can vary it's very difficult to choose fmp is up investment medium you need to have a kyc and everything and then you can do it uh again is in a way it's little difficult to choose that's why i'm saying it's difficult is up investment is little difficult uh returns it can vary again depending on the performance uh returns after tax is high because i mean it's the best advantage is that double indexation and you know you can really not pay any tax maturity 3 months to 5 years liquidity difficult once you put in fmp you just have to hold it till maturity because it's uh, almost zero equal liquidity uh, interest payment only on maturity for whom 20% or more tax bracket uh, bonds uh, triple a bonds fine great uh, returns higher than fd uh, returns after tax again it's taxable so it's medium to high maturity may be up to 20 years liquidity not too good you can sell it in the secondary market demat is there but sometimes if you see the uh, it may not be tradable that much you know maybe few units bought and sold in a day uh interest annual a tax free bond uh, uh, triple a rated wonderful ease of investment you have just have a um, lot of demat accounts are open today just because of investing in tax free bond so people are opening demat account and you know uh, not really going to a share broker to 
buy the bonds in secondary market though you can do it you just subscribe to the primary market and uh, automatically those tax free bonds are going to come on to your demat account and see your demat statement and you are happy about it returns uh, you are getting almost like 9% for a 20 year tax free bond you know uh, just last month so uh, maybe a little lower than fd but it's tax free so return after tax great wonderful maturity 10 15 20 years uh, though you can sell it so that's a good part even before the maturity liquidity again medium uh, just like uh, bonds uh, interest annual and it's good for 30% or even 20% tax bracket and the government security safety highest don't worry ease of investment is little low little difficult to invest uh, returns similar to fd 9% returns after tax taxable so medium just like fd maturity period up to 30 years now liquidity medium you can you know sell it a semi annual interest is what you get and it's great for those in no tax bracket or up to 10% tax bracket inflation index bond uh, the newest one uh, the safety highest is of investment uh, just go to the bank I, i mean they have the form there is a need to do a kyc that is the only bad part unless the kyc was recently done by the bank in last 6 months if not redo that redo of the kyc they even have kyc for the nominee so that is again uh, you know little bit of a issue but once you do the kyc and do it uh, it's uh, easy uh, returns higher than fd because um, uh, again uh, you're going to get uh, inflation plus 1.5 uh, returns after tax high maturity period 10 years uh, liquidity medium in a way there is a lock in period uh, one year for senior citizen three years for others uh, so after the lock in period you can redeem uh, but there is a penalty clause uh interest payment cumulative there is only one option right now which is little bit of issue for whom up to 10% again wonderful option uh rather than going for a bank fd so the first part is the bank fd uh, everyone knows uh scheduled commercial banks are safe uh, it includes nationalized banks private banks and foreign banks it doesn't include the cooperative banks uh seven day to 10 year fd you can get today uh the interest rates if you look right now it's almost the same it's almost flat i mean maybe 8% up to one year and then 9% one year to two years uh even over five years will get around 9% so it's almost flat uh cumulative option has no reinvestment risk but uh, the tax is payable because the interest is accrued during the financial year now the only part about bank fd i would uh, just make one more point is uh uh there is a penalty clause in most of the banks uh, and uh, you know you if you go really for a 10 year bank fd and you're trying to break it in the 8th year or you know closer to the term it actually is going to be very bad for you because uh, uh, there is a penalty clause of 1% less than the interest for that particular period so say assume the 10 year fd was 9% today and you lock in for 9% after 8 years you are trying to break it and assume the interest rate for the 8 years was 8% so 8% minus 1% 7% that 7% is calculated from the beginning so in a way uh, they will recalculate your whole interest from the beginning they may have paid you annual interest or whatever quarterly interest at 9% but then they will recalculate with respect to 7% and you, you might actually end up you know uh, taking out little bit money from your principal to give to the bank so technically even though you're not your investment is safe it's not like your principal is like guaranteed i mean technically it is guaranteed because it is coming out of your interest only but they can dig, dig out from your principal if they recalculate the interest because of the penalty so just make sure of that 15 days to 45 days uh, you know 7 and 1/2% 9% you can get state bank of india is giving 7 and 1/2 6 months to 1 year great uh, 9.75 9.25 uh sbi is giving 9% i think one year to two years uh i think sbi is over one year is no 9% sorry uh one to two years again same 9.75 9.5 two to three years almost same 9 and 1/2 uh, almost 10% if you see after three years it actually goes down little bit i mean 
banks don't want to take risk, you know, long-term risk. I mean, uh, the rates actually are flat. They will go down a little bit over five years to only be nine, nine and a half, not more than nine in most of the cases. Company FD, uh, again, uh, unsecured, risky. Uh, some of them have ratings. I think Mahindra Finance and LN HDFC Limited have good ratings. And uh, uh, these are the cumulative rates they are offering, 10.25. Um, cumulative, non-cumulative is 10 years, 10%. So 10% uh, uh, compared to 9% with the bank is not much of a difference. I would rather keep it in a bank rather than a company FD, uh, even though it could be good rating. But again, it's a finance company. They are lending money out somewhere else, and uh, just like banks. But uh, at least bank, you have RBI, so you will have more control. Uh, so I, right now, I don't really recommend any, anything on the company FD side. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really myself putting anything in company FD. Uh, but two options I have given. So let's go to the second part, which is the RBI inflation index bond. As I discussed, uh, it's only 10-year option. Only cumulative option is there. Uh, it's not tradable in the secondary market. Uh, RBI is a registrar, and uh, bank will take your KYC application give you a receipt just like a bank FD receipt and uh, RBI will keep all the data uh, so if there is some uh, problem I mean uh, I'm sure the bank can you know service it but uh, when I asked the person uh, he, he said yeah we have been told how to sell but we have not been told how to you know service it or on maturity what to do because again uh, 10 years from now who knows maybe may in the meantime RBI might train them how to <laughs> uh, close the account but right now the training is only to sell uh, so they will only sell right now they don't know about the servicing part they said RBI is the registrar we don't know we'll sell it if there is some address change or anything you might have to go to the RBI office and you know do the corrections to the account so that is the issue I mean uh, because it's not like bank is going to really support it uh, throughout Limit is five years, but five lakhs, but per financial year. So, five lakhs in this financial year, five lakhs in another financial. Year. But again, these bonds, uh, they can have a closing date. RBI earlier was having a closing date of 31st December, and then they, you know, because of the poor response, they uh, changed it to 31st March. So they given they are given additional three months, uh, but they are said that uh, they can close it early. So if they find good response uh, this month or next month, they might give an announcement that they will close it you know after whatever periods six seven days ten days and they will do it so we can't assume that they will wait till 31st march but looking at the things uh, i'm sure uh, they will maybe hopefully i'm hoping 31st march uh, it will go on because people don't know about it banks are not selling it uh, there's no much commission um, and that five lakhs maybe change to 25 lakhs that's what we heard i mean one of the rbi official had made a statement that they are looking at making it to 25 lakhs which could be uh, interesting. So the interest rate is uh, what? The consumer price index CPI plus one and a half. And CPI for December was uh, 9.84. So 9.84 plus one and a half is little lo less than 11 and a half, which is not bad. Uh, compared to 9% for bank, 11 and a half percent is decent. And the, in uh, the inflation in November was 10.24 uh, or something, 10.74. 10, uh, 10 so with 10.74 you would have got more than 12 percent you know so uh, inflation can go up and down but so will your returns and uh, considering the current scenario of inflation being very stubborn for so many months just one month of softening can't really be assumed that you know we are going to really have a low inflation period for years to come so uh, uh, i mean i would put my money uh, in IIB, uh, but I'm waiting till March 31st to see what changes they do. Maybe they will have a cumulative option, then I would rather have a cumulative option because, uh, sorry, rather have the non cumulative option because cumulative option again, it's like uh, you are going to wait for 10 years to see the money, uh, which is okay because it will compound and it's like a you know cumulative FD, it will help you uh, with not having the reinvestment risk, but. Uh, I mean, uh, 10 years may be a long period for somebody to, you know, just wait. I, I'm, what I'm saying is IIB is more like a FD, not like a bond. And the reason I'm saying this is the bond price is really, you know, face value. We're buying a bond of um, National Highway Authority of India for 1,000 rupees today. Uh, the interest rate, you know, if it goes up tomorrow, that bond value will go down to maybe 950. 
so you're going to lose the uh, price of the bond but uh, inflation index bond you're not really losing I mean, I mean the face value is the face value. investment is not really you know going to go down the investment is guaranteed just like a bank FD it's just there is, there is a penalty clause just like penalty clause for FD okay so penalty clause for FD is 1% less than whatever is the interest for that particular period and penalty clause for IIB is uh, your 50% of last year's interest is deducted okay but uh, if you really uh, you know I did my calculations and uh, it's not that diff bad because uh, if you're going to three years is the lock-in period so after three years if you're going to break it and lose the half the interest of earlier year uh, it's a little more penalty than a bank FD breaking banking FD of 10 years you bring breaking after three years same thing is there's some penalty uh, and the good part is if you break it towards the end break it after eighth year seventh year actually it's better than the bank FD because bank FD like I said they'll recalculate from the beginning here it's only last year's interest which is 50 percent deducted so the way I calculate it if you break in this uh, IIB after five years or six years seven year it is actually penalty is little less than even the bank FD penalty so I mean if somebody is willing to wait for five years uh, it's better than bank FD you know so you, so what if you're you know having to log for 10 years and you can still break it up to five years and not have that bad of a penalty and your inter and your principal is saved so it's not like a bond it's called bond but it's not a bond actually early redemption penalty is there lock-in period is there three years for uh, regular customers and one year for senior citizen is a lock-in uh, liquidity again it's not tradable in the secondary market uh, there is a KYC procedure to be done for the first holder second holder nominee everyone for whatever reason they are done it taxation I mean that's the only part it's taxable like a bank FD I mean some some of them uh, media are writing that there could be only capital gain tax but that's not true I mean it's taxable just like a bank FD and so those who are in a no tax bracket or 10% tax bracket wonderful those who are in the highest tax bracket it's a little bit of an issue taxable bonds it's the third part so long-term uh, debt security issued by a government is normally called bond and those issued by private entities are called debentures you know uh, NCD non-convertible debentures uh, which cannot be converted to shares so not much of a difference it's just one is issued by government one is by private they work the same uh, depending on the interest rate in the market the prices will go up and down but if you buy it and hold till maturity you are okay you are given a fixed return fixed coupon you will get it just like a bank FD you will get a fixed face value at the end of the term guaranteed it if you wait till maturity you are not going to lose anything if you are trying to sell it before that you might make capital gain you might make capital loss depending on market interest rate and when you bought it so today uh, I think it's an exciting period where uh, bond prices uh, where uh, you know yields were quite high and uh, if you buy today uh, if, if the interest rates go down this year uh, you will actually make a capital gain if you try to sell it so there is a opportunity so raise capital with agreement to pay interest periodically that's pretty much the concept uh, there is a concept of secured and unsecured I mean the, some of the bonds are unsecured which is not worth touching because at least secured if the company goes bust you, there is a claim where uh, in terms of uh, you know liquidity liquidation of the company assets you, you can have a claim on that so you have new offerings and you have secondary market uh, you have Edelweiss finance which just launched 9.60 and 9.85 uh, for three years and five years you can buy in primary market or you can wait for the secondary market for the same bond to come or look at other bond options in the secondary market the difference is not going to be too much uh, because the secondary market will adjust itself uh, based on the interest rates so I, my recommendation is primary market because you know that you don't have to go to a stock worker don't have to pay any commission to the stock worker to buy there could be some buy sell you know uh, pricing difference so uh, primary market you know exactly this is the coupon you're buying it fresh if you hold it till maturity you're guaranteed sell it before maturity there could be capital gain tax look for windows of opportunity because the uh, uh, pricing depends on you know interest rates in the market uh, if the interest rates in the market try to start going up the bond prices will come down and it's a good time to buy stick with triple A rated bonds DMAT is the best option I mean a lot of accounts are open just for bond purchase now I mean people are maybe not putting in stock market but 
they are buying bonds, taxable bonds or tax-free bonds, and you know putting it in the demat. So you can see it in the demat statement, and uh, you will get the interest payment directly to your savings account because your demat is linked to your savings account. So whatever is the demat uh, savings account linked to it, you don't even have to worry about getting a check and depositing a check. Your interest is directly given on that particular day, sent to your account, and you just uh, pay the tax. That's the only thing. Because uh, the, when we talk about taxable bonds, there is no TDS, uh, especially if there is a in the demat holding. But uh, you will have to pay the TDS uh, or tax, so not the TDS. So if you are in the 30% tax bracket and having this taxable bond, even though there is no TDS, doesn't mean that you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay tax because at the end of tax year, you will have to show as a interest. Uh, because you know it can be cross verified and uh, you can get into trouble if you don't show. You have the option of ASBA also where uh, you don't have to actually write a check. You can go to online banking, SBI, a lot of banks have it. You just say you're buying with ASBA. So they will block the amount and only when it is allotted to you, the money will take the gone from the account. Otherwise your agent option is there where you write a check and the agent will come and pick it up or you go to the office and they will you know forward it and uh, take care of it. Uh, recent uh, options, uh, I think only one option is right now open, Edelweiss. It just opened yesterday. The remaining three are already closed. Uh, but the interest rate, if you see, is uh, uh, like 11.6, 11.8. Uh, there's a 0.25 extra for shareholders. So if you have, if you're a shareholder of Edelweiss uh, financial securities, uh, even if you have, I think, one share, which is like 30, 30 bucks per share, uh, you can get 0.25% extra. But you have to be the shareholder at the time of allotment and at the time of coupon payment also, both the times. Uh, unsecured option was there for method, but uh, it's not really worth. The interest rate was almost the same. Uh, so go for secured option. Look at the rating. Muthut is double A minus, not great. Uh, Shiram Transport Finance is better, double uh, A plus, better than the other three in the uh, this particular list. Uh, interest rate of 11.25, 11.75 is okay. I mean, better than the banks, uh, better than even company FD today. And um, they are secured, better than company FD. It's, it's going to be on the demat. You will get uh, uh, interest directly credited. Existing bonds, uh, again, secondary market. Uh, in, in our web uh, magazine page, we every issue we come up with the list of top bonds in the uh, secondary market based on you know them trading uh, you know as of prior day. So 13 January, when I looked at it, uh, you were having. Uh, 10 10 percent 10 and a half percent not great because uh, Edelweiss is giving 11.6 better than even one percent more than even uh, you know uh, same level company double a company is giving only 10 percent m and finance 10 percent Edelweiss same rating getting 11.6 so uh, you have better option um, but again the, this rates will ch change every day based on the interest rate uh, triple A rated again 10 percent not bad because if you want to uh, actually uh, hold only till nine next nine months and want get 10 percent uh, yield uh, it's yield to maturity so you hold it for next nine months you will get 10 percent so better than bank FD also if you're sure you're going to hold for next nine months it's triple A rated nothing bad you can buy it from the secondary market you'll get 10 percent yield Tax free bond again, those who are 20%, 30% tax bracket, uh, great option. The, they were sold last year also, uh, December 2012. Uh, uh, but this year you have better rates. So, uh, what was sold in December 2012, uh, January 2013 was in the range of 7.85, you know, coupon. This time it was 8.75, 8.90 almost 1% more than last year. So again, because the interest rates in the market went up in the, in the last one year, that is 2013, uh, those who bought in 2012 uh, actually did the wrong thing because uh, I mean, they, if they had waited for one year, they would have got 1% extra plus uh, their bond prices wouldn't have you know gone down because uh, those who bought in 2012 uh, i bought something in 2012 uh, the bond price of face value 1000 was is probably now around 925 so i'm actually at loss if i sell today i'm at loss because 
my coupon rate was 7.84 for REC, 7.88 for REC, and REC is trading 9.925 rupees instead of thousand. So uh, if I sell right now, I'm at capital loss, but I'm just going to hold it because, like I said, if you are uh, long-term player, uh, the daily fluctuation shouldn't really matter. Uh, I got the interest at, at 7.88, uh, lower than what 8.75 for today. But uh, that's the thing I did. Uh, interest rate, uh, you can't, cycles are very difficult to know. You know, yeah, people are saying interest rate might go down this year, but you never know, it might go to go up and again, those who bought today might see a capital loss. So it's nothing is guaranteed. We can, nobody, I, I can't say for sure that, yeah, yeah, this is the right time and you buy it and you will never make a loss. You can make a loss if you sell. If you don't make a loss, if you don't sell, you're okay. You can wait till maturity and, you know, you can still get a coupon every year and your face value will be given at the end of maturity. So uh, you had different rating options. Uh, AAA is the best. Double uh, A minus, uh, not good options. Uh, Raging Corporation last year in our port. Double A plus, Hudko. Uh, Hudko is okay, safe, but still the AAA is better. 10, 20, and 15 years term you have, uh, which is can be thought of as a long term, but again, it's tradable. Uh, and if the interest rates go down in the market, you, your face value can go, I mean, your price can go up, bond price can go more than face value, and you can sell it, and you can make a capital gain. But the capital gain is taxable, so it's not, only the interest part is tax-free. Great option for those in highest tax bracket. 8.75 tax-free equals 12.5 pre-tax, those in 30% tax bracket. So, uh, you know, instead of even in which an index bond giving 11.5%, uh, I would rather put it in 12.5% because it's um, I'm almost getting like 12.5%, you know, uh, being in uh, somebody 20-30%. This uh, calculation is for 30% tax bracket, but uh, so for them, it's like they're almost getting 12.5% and paying tax on if they are calculate the tax, then it is 8.75 tax free. Uh, so I'm saying it's a possible opportunity to make capital gain. If the interest rates soften this year and inflation goes down over the next two, three months and in RBI reduces the rate, then uh, then actually the NHB bond, National Housing Bank, uh, which was closed just last uh, two weeks back at 9.01 per percent coupon for 20 years bond. They just closed it. And uh, I think they started trading in the secondary market at a capital gain of 1-2%. So immediately on day one, they were in gains. So uh, the day of listing, the, you could have, you would have bought it two, two weeks back and made it 1-2% uh, uh, immediately and sold it in the secondary market. But that's, uh, again, because they were offering 9.01 and with the inflation little bit looking okay, all of a sudden, the bond prices shoot up 1-2% and you could have made the gain. The only drawback is uh, uh, people uh, with this good rates, people were not able to get full allotment. Even putting the money on the first day, I put it on the first day, you don't, I got maybe 30% allotment. So for say 1 lakh amount check given, only 30,000 was accepted, remaining 70,000 refunded back. So, in a way, you don't get full allotment because the used to get oversubscribed immediately. Uh, sometimes in the first day, NHB closed first day. They didn't, NHB didn't have issue last year in 2012. Unlike REC, IIFCL, Hudko, they had it last year, they have it this year. So people, those who already had bought IIFCL, Hudko, uh, REC last year in 2012, they don't want to put in the same company. Even though it's a government company, even though it's a triple A rate, just for diversification, you feel that why put it in the same company? NHB, it's like owned by RBI, fully owned by RBI. What can go wrong? It's like, uh, you know, RBI uh, subsidiary. So uh, I wanted to put in NHB. And, uh, but you don't get food allotment because people are there to put the money. Exactly opposite to last year, 2012, people bond issues were open for full term one, one month and it wouldn't get full because just 1% made a difference, 7.85 to 8.85, 1%, people jump in on the first day, first 1% less, one month the issue will go on, nobody, it will not get subscribed. So it's it's up to your luck, how you want to you know, play it. 
Okay, so NHI just opened this Monday, I think, and it doesn't have 20 years option, but 8.75 is the maximum. NHB, now uh, I said 9.01, 20 years. Uh, NTPC again 8.91, NHPC had 8.92. So great options. I mean, you have maybe few more companies who would have, and you never know. I mean, next financial year, government might stop this. You don't know. I mean, you will. Ha you can buy it in the secondary market, but again, I mean, uh, it, it will depend on the interest rates, and you might have to buy it at a premium. So, like I said, one first day we got a premium of one two percent. You never know. Tomorrow it might be at an even larger premium. You may have to pay to buy it. So it's like I said, the government security 10 years yield, it keeps on changing. This is for over the last one month. So it was almost 9% uh, in on say 24th Christmas day. And now it has come down to almost uh, 8.5, 8.6. So uh, that makes a big difference. Even 9% down to 8.6 uh, can make the bond rates you know uh, jump because uh, when you are buying at this time the bond rates have crashed when you're buying at this time the bond rates have gone up because the market interest rate gone down so bond rates went up nhb example one two percent uh, jump on one day uh, at the time of listing because interest rates have gone down little bit over the last one month G6 as safe as bank, um, even safer than bank, I would say. Nothing wrong with it. Available for 30 years. Interest rates comparable to bank FD, but also taxable. Uh, so G6, uh, just like bonds, uh, the prices will fluctuate with market interest rates. Just like bonds, you will have the G6 price go up and down. But if you hold till maturity, and you have different periods, uh, one year, two years maturity, five years, so you have all sorts of G6 for different maturities. So if you match your maturity period with what your uh, you know uh, uh, bank maturity G6 maturity period with your uh, you know expect you know how much time you can lock in the money, nothing wrong with it. IDBI has an online uh, G6 portal for buying and selling. So this is the only one which actually retail, retail can go because uh, retail, uh, I mean, there are uh, other options for non-retail people. Uh, but for retail, I think this is a good option where you just register with IDBI Bank, uh, Samriddhi portal, and uh, uh, the G6 you buy, they will tell you the rate, what is the rate uh, on that particular day when you're trying to buy. And you, you can link it to your savings. You don't have to be an IDBI savings account holder. You can just open this account and link it to your savings account. And uh, they are actually going to put it in a demat account. So that's another good part where just like a tax-free bond and taxable bond, even GSEC, you can see it on your demat. IDBI will put it, which means you, you are in a way secured that, OK, you are a holder of a GSEC for whatever amount. And uh, you want to again sell it you will have to go back to idbi portal and uh, they will have you know they make there will be some kind of you know uh, they don't have a explicit commission for buying selling but uh, uh, the pricing will be a little bit you know manipulated to make sure that they make something out of it but again from what i read and what i've seen it shouldn't be that much of a pricing you can check with the fimda website and other website to see if what idbi price is offered for this particular maturity rate gsec is this rate same as what fimda rate and you know if you cross verify if there's a minor difference deal with it if it is a major difference you can complain why how can it be that idbi is going to you know charge you a different rate than what you know the actual rate is but shouldn't be that much of a difference uh, so regular demat account to credit gsec these are the rates uh, which i have for yesterday uh, maturity date uh, actually I've gone little long term 30 years uh, sorry uh, 15 years 20 years 25 years 30 years but you have maturity dates of even next two years five years and their yield is also almost flat 8.7 7.8, 8.9. So uh, this is almost flat rate which they have for uh, different maturities. So um, so, so it's alternation alternate to bank FD. By bank FD, nine percent. You are almost getting nine percent with GSEC. Um, I mean, if you feel that you worried about bank uh, collapsing, I mean, which you shouldn't worry about. It's a uh, scheduled commercial bank. Uh, I, I mean, GSEC is uh, you know. GSEC, this government will have to collapse for this to, you know, really go bad. 
just a quick note on uh, you know why not debt mutual fund uh, so i has talked about it there is a huge variation in the returns uh, what is the portfolio that is also important because sometimes some I, mean, I have seen some debt funds really performing well showing good returns but if you look at the portfolio they are holding some of the bonds which are little risky the ratings are low so you might feel that the returns are good but just don't go on the returns because the portfolio is important i mean what they are holding some of, i mean if you look at uh, some you know lower rating bonds in, in the portfolio uh, it's little risky but if you see good rated bonds or certificate of deposit it's like a fd so what when you buy it's a fd when uh, bank sells it to another mutual fund company it's called a cd certificate of deposit uh, so, you, so some of these are holding uh, a pure certificate of deposit which is like a fd uh, alabad bank this is this safe very safe so if majority of the portfolio is in treasuries or certificate of deposit and that you will only get more mainly in the liquid fund or ultra short term fund other than that you will mainly have commercial papers which are little bit risky and commercial papers anything long term the pricing will go up and down which will mean there is a problem uh, of nav up and down but those who are very short term ultra short term and liquid fund you will not lose money i mean you will th those are these are something maturing in six, two months three months six months and their valuation even if the interest rates in the market change they are not going to get affected because the maturity is so soon only those long term long term gsex you have guilt fund holding holding gsex long term so if you buy that guild fund one year can give 12% return next year it might give minus 6% depending on you know how the uh, gsec values go up and down the tax advantage is there if you hold it in uh, mutual funds you have dividend distribution tax already cut if you take dividend or if you have growth option you can have indexation all sorts of things expense ratio is there which is bad because you are going to pay for them for their service a uh, direct investment option is great people are uh, you know expense ratio will go down by you know half quarter point point uh, three fourth point uh, uh, because you are directly investing we talked about mark to market rbi actions which can drop you know the nav by two and a half percent on a single day uh, which can happen that's the only part because of which we say that it, it, there is a, some amount of risk involved when you buy bond funds of long term bond funds or g6 long term uh, fmp again uh, the benefit is on the taxation double ta indexation uh, you have something which you can calculate based on cost index inflation index cii which is released by the government every year so if you are putting in fmp you want to make a note of this particular name cost inflation index cii this value is released by the government every year and you will have to use this to calculate your capital gains uh, and you can actually have zero gains which can means you don't pay any tax i can show you that uh, highly illiquid put money only if you need it if you don't need it till maturity stick to fmp that indicate low risk there is different blue low risk or you know make sure you they don't give you the portfolio but they will give you what ratings they are going to buy and based on that the ratings can be low risk so i try to gain as much information on what securities they are going to buy at what uh, rating even though they will not specify which company they are not allowed to they are not allowed to tell you that and they are not allowed to tell you what interest they will get fmp investing in high rated securities is little lower risk go with credible mutual fund house uh, very difficult because the same credible mutual fund company house can have one good and one bad uh, fmp so difficult expense ratio is low then the returns will improve uh, this will just give a idea on why fmp is better because of the double taxation bank fixed deposit uh, 10% uh, see if you have 13 months and if it crosses uh, three financial years uh, and that it will do if you buy it in say march so if in march of 2014 you buy uh, for 13 months fd it will actually cross three financial years which will help you a lot because if it costs three financial years you can get double indexation if it costs two financial years you will get single indexation and uh, the way we calculate is uh, this is a simple thing interest maturity value interest is bank simple bank fixed deposit the whole interest is taxable assuming 30 percent tax bracket so tax is big tax and post income very low so post income post tax rate 6.9 very bad because 10% bank every doesn't really give great if you are in a 30% tax bracket only 6.9 instead of that fmp 
of 13 months crossing two financial years uh, same interest rate 10 percent i'm assuming uh, but this is the key part inflation indexation and that is from the cii number so like i said cii number is there every year so based on cii changes in that year for that particular year i calculated it was 10.4 and this because of the double indexation i had to calculate cii of two years so between across two years it goes very wonderful wherein you can get a very nice index section which means that what it is trying to calculate is that your actual cost of investment is not 1 lakh but 1 lakh 10,400 and here 1 lakh 19,830 so based on the inflation index session which is calculated from the CI numbers released and based on that you are hardly making any gain of only 433 rupees 833 minus 400 433 and here you're actually making a loss on paper not an actual loss but a loss on paper of almost 9000 rupees and uh, uh, indexation uh, when you're using it's 20 percent tax bracket non-indexation is 10 percent so 20 percent tax bracket on in indexation your tax amount is less than 100 rupees wonderful so your post tax income is almost same as your interest rate you're paying your post rate post tax rate almost 10 percent 9.91 and here 10 percent so you don't pay anything to the government so government loses but you win by getting full amount full benefit whatever is amount paid by fmp is yours to keep and um, unlike fd so but then again choose the right fmp is the only thing the last part uh, annuity from the life insurance company uh, fixed return for lifetime uh, it's almost 7% right now you can think of in most cases age 50 somebody is trying to buy 7% so if somebody is going to live till age 80 30 years you will get 7% rate of return locked for life uh, purchase price is like locked for lifetime I mean sometimes if there is some severe problem financial problem you can request the insurance company to give the corpus back but uh, it actually depends on the uh, interest rates in the market if it is to their benefit they will return you back the uh, you have jivan anand which came initially offering 12 percent so somebody is locked in with that 12 percent from lic they are making it 12 percent every year but if you go back and say you don't want to uh, you you want to withdraw don't want this particular policy lic will give it back to you because they are paying 12 percent which they are not happy about you know so uh, they will immediately give the uh, you know uh, purchase price and close the policy but if you are locked in at say six percent then uh, LIC is only having to pay you six percent and then you say say you want to withdraw the annuity LIC will say no way we don't want to withdraw it because they have taken the risk of uh, you are long term living and interest rates risk in the market which they have taken two risks interest rate risk in the market and your uh, age risk but most popular option is return of purchase price i mean there is an option where you don't get any purchase price maybe you will get instead of seven percent you will get 10 11 percent but there's no reason to go for that unless you don't have any nominee unless you don't want to give money to anybody then okay but most of the people would have somebody to give the money and they don't want to take the risk of insurance and because somebody might buy and then die tomorrow the insurance company will forfeit the whole investment if you go with the option of no return of purchase price but if you go with the option of return of purchase price safer it's just like a fd uh, you will get an interest payment every year and that principle is safe it will be given to your nominee on death